Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Black Series Gaming Greats review. This one is the latest of the Gaming Greats releases. Um, literally just hit Zing and EB Games stores here in Australia like within the last few days. Um, so yeah, I was glad to, glad to pick this one up. Um, I know people have their reservations about the, about the, the sculpts and all that, but I, I just sort of like that we're getting the characters. Um, I'm, I'm cool. Like, I don't, I don't mind, you know, it would be great if they were like the fully, you know, armoured sort of thing. But I want to talk about what we've got, um, what we've been given, and just try and enjoy that. Um, <laughs> that's what I do, you know, I try to enjoy everything um, for what it is, not what it, not what it isn't. Um, and yeah, just before I start, just wanted to say a big thank you to all my members here on YouTube for all your continued support. Um, it really does mean a lot to me and, you know, definitely benefiting me in, um, in a year that's been quite difficult, um, to a lot of degrees, but, um, yeah, I, I really do appreciate your continued support. Um, really hoping to sort of settle down by the end of the year and be able to increase interactivity and all that sort of stuff again. Um, but for now, again, I just really appreciate your support. So let's get on with the figure review. So we have here RC1207, also known as Sev. This is the artwork on the side. So we know we have Fixer on the way. He's the one with the sort of green. And I assume Scorch will be not far behind. Um, I dare say that will probably be a reveal at Hascon. Uh, Hasbro PulseCon or whatever it is uh, coming up in the coming weeks or whatever. I can't remember the dates. <laughs> it might be October. I can't remember. But yeah, Star Wars Republic Commando follows Delta Squad on missions throughout the Clone Wars with simple with Delta 07 Sev as the squad sniper. So yeah, cool looking weapon. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a cool figure. You pay an extra $10 and you get this sticker on the front, which is cool. <laughs> I know, I've joked about that plenty of times before, but um, we're just going to rip into it. Crack into this guy. I get sick of these. They fall out everywhere. So, the backpack out. Get the rifle out. Get our boy, Sev, out. And yeah, like I've mentioned before, you're reusing uh, most of the same sculpt as Hunter uh, from the Bad Batch, um, which is fine. You know, I'm, I'm going to review this for what it is. And uh, we'll take a look at all the paint and details and everything. So yeah, where's the backpack? It fell in amongst my tripod here. So again, very similar to what we've seen before. Let me just get up a little bit closer. There we go. So yeah, that's nice. And I will more than likely end up just gluing that in. I have no reason to remove it. Um, and yeah, being that I don't have a reference point for the accurate sort of looking sev at the moment. Um, yeah, I think the paint apps are pretty well done. I like them, I think they look all right. Sort of all the scuff marks and paint all over. Sort of red mark on the head there. I'm not sure if that needs to be sort of joined up in that little gap there. I don't think so. I don't know. Some may see that as a paint error, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. Like I said, no reference photos <laughs> off the point. But um, yeah, it looks like it's meant to be like that. He's got sort of, you know, sort of paint markings all over the place. It actually looks like they've sculpted the, the bottom half of the legs in red here and then painted the black and white over it. Sorry, black and yeah, black and white. So that's interesting. Whereas the rest of it, I'd say, would be sculpted in in white and painted in the sort of red. Hard to tell. Yeah, it's a bit tough to tell. I'd say that's definitely cast in a in a grey grey plastic. But um, yeah. So one thing I really do like about these. These troops are the helmets. I like the Republic Commandos. I think they look great. Um, and yeah, I've stated before, I'm looking forward to sort of completing the squad um, in, in Black Series 6 inch, uh, just because I never got them in uh, three and three quarter. Uh, all I ever had was a Scorch. 
Um, and that was from the Saga Collection 2006. I think it was 2006. Um, and then I got the, the boss, Republic Commando boss, uh, from the Clone Wars. So yeah, again, we're using this sort of Hunter mold that's got the, uh, the hole for the sheath that Hunter has for his little knife. Um, so yeah, little things like that are a little bit of a bummer because, you know, now I need to go find a little white piece of plastic to slot in there to fill that hole um, or something just to make it look like it's, you know, not meant to be there. Uh, <laughs> I do like the uh, shoulder pauldrons, the sort of, you know, that sort of flexible, flexible look. They tend to look a bit funny in the packaging sometimes, but you know, this is sitting all right. It just allows for good maneuverability, um, particularly with the sniper rifle. But yeah, definitely a nicely poseable figure, which is what we desire really as, you know, open box collectors anyway. Um, So that looks all right, a little, we could tweak it a little bit. Bring the elbow up. I like they've gone the sort of metallic blue on the lens. I can't remember they th did that with Boss. But um, yeah, Boss being the only other one that's released up until this point. Um, I have seen some people getting Fixer, but um, yeah, I can't remember whether that was a metallic blue. I dare say it was. I don't know why they'd stop doing that or start doing that on the second figure. Um, yeah, it's just been a little while since I've looked at it. <laughs> but I like it. I think he's cool. So again, you know, there's, there's not a not a def definitive must-have figure for your collection. Um, I sort of treat all gaming greats like that. Some, some pick up, some you leave. Um, and yeah, definitely not going in the completers route anymore. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. It's it's insane the prices of these things now. It's um, you know very difficult to justify picking them all up. That's it. Love to hear your thoughts. Um, you know, love to hear your thoughts on what we got. Um, I know everyone thinks we'd. I know everyone's thoughts regarding what we should have got, but, uh, you know, that's all good. Hopefully one day, maybe, we'll get a, uh, you know, re-release of that Toys R Us five-pack that come with the Gian Ocean as well from, like, 20, 2011 or 12. That'd be elite. Um, but, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've had a great week. Again, I do appreciate everyone's support, even all my subscribers, not just the members. The members definitely definitely help out big time. The subscribers, I appreciate all of you um, for hanging out and watching them with video, my videos constantly. And uh, yeah, keeps the passion alive. So thanks for watching and until the next one, may the force be with you always.